speakers for, for today are Evers Lenin Olivas and Silvia Alvarez. Lenin was born in Raslala and graduated from Ruben Dario High School in 2010. He speaks two languages, Spanish and English, and now he is a student at Boom Community College studying entrepreneurship. And Silvia Alvarez was born in Honduras in 1992. And he gra she graduates from Institute Dr. Jesus Mones Chinchilla as an accountant in 2010. She helped as a volunteer in some organizations in Honduras, such as World Vision, Copan Public Library, Copan Olympia, Cabido Infantil de Copan Ruiznas. She is studying entrepreneurship at Boom Community College. She also bilingual, bilingual, speaking English and Spanish. And her goal in life is to become a successful businesswoman and help other people in her community. So let me welcome Silvia Alvarez and Lenny Oliva. In many cases, your attitude can take you forward to achieve all your dreams or your goals that had set before. But also, in other cases, your attitude can take you down. That's why you have always the decision, for good or for bad. Positive attitude is not just the top you think, nor it is being happy or having good feelings. The ultimate positive attitude is about always learning and always connecting with both the people who is around you and your world. That means that you have to, you need to have a good behavior in order to respect other people and also in order to then respect you. So in order to develop a positive attitude, remember always to A, B, C. We need to avoid negative sources, places, people, things, and habits. We need to avoid all those things that are negative because they are not useful for us. But we can take advantage of all the things that are positive and can help us to grow as a human. Believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is all about being sure that you are going to do whatever you want, even if others were against you. For example, when you decide to take a big challenge or do something that other people have failed to do, you will find that everyone is going to put you down. People will tell you that you don't have the right skill, that you don't have the capacity, the ability for doing what you want to do. But it is in your hand to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will do it for you. Consider things from every angle. I know it is very difficult to do it because sometimes we get so involved in a situation that we think that our position is only the right position and we aren't able to see uh, things from every angle. But as a leader, we have to consider things from every angle. And we will be positive and we will make others feel positive. Don't give up and don't give in. At some point of our life, we feel like giving up. There are situations, problems, problems in our family or economic problems, different situations that we think we are not going to face. But we can do it. Don't give up. Because remember that persistence always pays off. 
if we are positive, we need to enjoy the life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow may never come. That means that we need to enjoy the life in our present because we don't know what it's gonna be in the future. We have to take advantage of the environment, especially when it is a clean and peaceful area. So I invite you to enjoy your present because your future will be built by the actions that you do now. Family and friends are hidden. Treasure, seek them, and enjoy the riches. If we have family, we need to enjoy, enjoy them and open our arm, our heart, them. Because there are there outside, there are many people that don't have any relative and they don't have any person to whom they talk to, to whom they can share what they feel. So if we do have, we need to share with them, to take advantage of their value, their happiness, and be always able to help each other. Give more than you plan to. To be positive is a bit compromised and also need to have high values. For example, a student, let's say, for example, I failed one class last semester, so then I start saying, for this next semester that is coming, I will improve, I will get a name in that class because that will, that will be my goal. So I start doing everything in the next semester. For example, the teacher gives me homework, I do the homework. The maybe other teacher give me other, other assignments and as we know, all the assignments are important. So we have to give them the time to do it. So I start doing the homework through the time. Also, if there is a person who doesn't, who don't understand, for example, a problem in math, and if I am very good at it, I can help them without expect anything in return. So then, at the end, who is gonna be benefit? Of course, myself. Because at the time that I was helping my friend or other person who need it, so I was learning during the process I was teaching. And at the end, the unique benefits will be myself or yourself. Hang on to your dreams. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. But something important to learn is that you have to pursue your dreams, not someone else's dreams. Something that happened, and I can, I cannot talk about American culture, but I do uh, talk for our culture, is that some parents like uh, their son, their daughter, to become a doctor, to become an engineer, but, and they, they tell them that you have to do it. This is my dream, but this is the this this is the parents' dream, not their daughter or their son's dream. So you have to pursue your dreams, even though you don't agree with your parents or with other people. If you have if that dream is important to you, then fight for it. You can do it. You will achieve it if you want. If it is your dream, not someone else's dream. In order to be positive, ignore those who try to discourage you. There will be people everywhere with negative thoughts, telling you that you are not able to do what you want to do, telling that you are wrong, that your effort will yield no result, but then stop thinking that their opinion is important, because you can do it if you believe in yourself and Go against them, but not with negative words, with negative thoughts. Go against them by, by ignoring them, and just when they see your success, they will think that you were right and your effort yield result. Just do it. And just a parenthesis, 
I am not doing marketing for Nike sneakers and I'm not going to sell them to you, but uh, as the, it's slogan is, just do it. Sometimes it sounds like it is easy. It is, it isn't easy, but if you don't like the way that things are, just try to change them and don't follow what other people do. Just do it by yourself. Keep trying, no matter how hard it seems, it will be or it will get easier. In many cases, we make mistakes. Also, we can fail on what we are doing, for example, in our job, in our homework, or in our class. That's why, because we are human. But don't worry, it is not the end, because when we fail, when we fall down, the best thing that we can do is to get up again and be stronger and, and more stronger through the time. For example, a good example is a, a runner. I don't know if, how, say, how to say the activity that, where the runner participate, marathon. I don't. So if a runner is participating in a marathon, they start the, for ex, let's say he or she's gone around 10 miles and he start normally running. Then when it is a half, he start falling down. But he said, I need to get up because I need to continue. I want to get in the, at the end. So he start thinking positively. And every time he, get, he fall down, or she fall down, he start getting up and getting up. And why it is? Why he do that? Because he want to achieve a specific goal. Because his goal or her goal before was to be in the end. No matter if he or she is the first one to get there or he or she is the last one. The unique and important thing is that you can achieve your goal. Because not all the people are the same. Not all the people have the same abilities or the same strength to achieve their goal in the same time. No, all we are different. We, we have a, a specific time to achieve what we want. And what is more important? Being positive. Because if we are positive, we, go, we are going to motivate ourselves. Yes, that is what you need to do. Love yourself. Most, first and most, why? Because we need to love ourselves before loving others. Because if we don't love ourselves, nobody else will do it for us. So, I encourage you to love yourself and say, I'm strong, I love who I am, and I'm proud of me. And because if we are positive and we love ourselves, we will be a start. We'll, we will start thinking in what is good for us and what is not good. So always take the right decision. Make it happen is kind of fun to do the impossible. That's me. We all have goals to achieve or dreams to follow. So make it happen. How? If you set a goal, you need to set a goal, then start doing action. Because if you, just, if you only say, I want to be a big soccer player, famous, but you don't start practicing, you don't start training yourself, you won't get in any part of the, of the dream that you set before. So what you need to do is action, not just work, because it will be kind of fun to, to try to get what we think that is impossible. We need to, to keep trying until we get 
our dream or to achieve our goals. Never, never lie still or cheat. Always trick a fair deal. As we learned from the previous um, presentation, how can we be positive? How can we be leaders if we know that we are telling other people lies? We have to strike a fair deal, especially in business, because once you lie, people, they won't trust you anymore. And you can be positive. How can you uh, achieve that other people feel good or feel positive if you are telling them lies? Open your eyes and see things as they really are. And you know, the good part of this is that you can get positivism from every little thing. Just a flower, just a walk with a friend, just little things can, can, uh, can you, uh, make you feel happy and positivism, with positivism. Practice make perfection. If you want to become an athlete, or you want to learn a new language, or you, have, or you want to become a good soccer player, you have to start practicing. Without practice, you never will be perfect. And I know, as a human being, we are imperfect. But also, as a human being, we always want to improve what we do every day. So if you want to do it, just start practice right now. You, if you are positive, you will decide the best for you. Quitters never win, and winners never quit. Never quit. That's me. That in many cases, many people start uh, quit at what they are doing, what they are doing. For example, their jobs. Um, why they quit? Because they don't persist. Because they are not positive. Because sometimes people quit even they haven't they haven't begun yet. So but the winners in this case, there are many people who struggle, who fight for what they want, for their need, because they want to be something in life. They want to be recognized in the society. So the most important is to go ahead, to try the impossible is to try to be or do the thing with a, in a good manner. Read, study, and learn about everything important in your life. As a human, we need to learn and find a way how to learn. For example, yesterday, Belinda was saying that reading is a good way to learn. So. Let's start reading because when we are reading, we focus on the book, on the subject that we are doing. If we are reading an, an history, we can imagine to picture what is happening during that history. And if we read different books from different authors, we will learn more than we used to knew before. So start reading in order to, to learn and motivate yourself and learn in a good way. If you are pros, if you are positive, you need to stop procrastinating. For example, as a student, we used to procrastinate our homework. <laughs> and that's true. Because sometimes the teacher gives us homework and we say, I will do it at night. When the night comes, we say, I will do it tomorrow. But the problem is that we never do the homework until the last time. So, let's say a student, he's doing a project and he just needs to set a goal and then start doing the research and he say, I will do it tomorrow. Then, when tomorrow comes, he say, I will do it within the week, or 
in the weekends or next month because he or she has enough time to do. But that is no good idea because then we, the only thing that we are doing is to accumulate all the work. And sometimes we are good working under pressure, but it's not good because we got frustrated or stressed out. So I tell you, I persuade you, do the homework today, now, in your present. A good example in, in my cycle 2011, I will be get up on Jose. Because when Jose got a home, uh, the teacher gave him a homework, the next hour he is doing the homework. And that is, he is a good example for us in order to stop procrastinate our homework. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have or have had a little kids at home? I mean, little daughters, little uh, sons or friends, nieces, nephews, I guess most of us. So something that, like, that they like to do is asking difficult questions. And let me tell you a story, a little story. Uh, there was a man who had two little daughters, and they were always asking him different questions. And for, other, for some questions, they had the answer, but for others, they, uh, he didn't. So he decided to send them with a wise man in order for them to learn some things about life. So they were asking and asking and asking him too many questions. But as he was very wise, he answered all their questions. So they become very impatient and say, why is he responding all the questions? So they did decide to get a plan. So they become with a blue blue butterfly in his hand and her hand, one of them, and said to the other one, I will take this butterfly and I will ask him if this butterfly is alive or dead. If he said that the butterfly is dead, I will open my hands and the butterfly will fly. And if he says that the butterfly is dead, is alive, I will, I will squeeze it and the butterfly will die. And he will give us the, right, the wrong answer and we will get it. So what happened is, okay, they, one of them took the butterfly and went to the wise man and asked the question. And he just smiled and with a very peaceful face said, it is in your hand. All is up to you. The same goes with our life. We have to take the control of our own destiny. No one else will do it for it for us. Our that butterfly represents our life. God has given us it, and we decide what to do with it. And don't allow other people to to te to tell you what to do with it. Understand yourself in order to understand others. Some people like to critique others and say, I don't like the way they, uh, they speak, or I don't like the, the way they act. But that is because we can understand ourselves. In order to be positive, in order to transmit positive thought to others, we have to first understand ourselves. If we don't understand ourselves, it is impossible to understand others. Visualize your goals. If you don't visualize your goals, you won't be motivated to achieve them. For example, most of us uh, say, I will do this and I will get a job and I will see my family and I will get married in some point of my life. And if we visualize them, we will be uh, achieving it. We will do a step by, by a step. But we will do it. But if we don't know what we want in life, how can we realize, how can we achieve our goal? Want it more than anything. 
if we want to achieve something in life in short or long term, the first step that we need to do is to set a goal. Why? Because if we set a goal, we will have something in what we believe. We will have something on what to be following. And we have to give our best in order to achieve the goal that we are going to do. I persuade you to be persistent, perseverant, and positive through the ways in order to get the goal you want to achieve. Always do your best efforts and accelerate them. In order to be positive, we need to, to give our best in what we are doing or, or in what we are working at. Because if we don't put attention in a class, we won't know what the teacher was saying. So we, we have to, to try to effort, to do effort, to listen in order to understand what do we need to do or what are the assignment or what is the topic that the teacher is sharing with us. And also, what is, what is the teacher teaching us? So we have to be good at listening, not only at speaking, because sometimes we speak a lot and we say nothing. But in other cases, people just speak a few words, but they mean a lot. So good, good listening is good for us. Also speak, not too much. <laughs> and remember, that you are unique of all, all God's creation. Nothing can replace you because there outside maybe there is one worth or better than you, but nobody is like you because nobody has the same quality. Nobody has the same knowledge. And you are unique. Uh, you need to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will do it for you. So you need to have high self-motivation. Remember, the only disability in life is about attitude. And just uh, another question for you. How many of you like to go to visit the doctor when you are sick? Really? Do you like? I don't like it. I don't like them. Sometimes it is necessary, but also it is expensive. So for those who don't like going to visit doctors, I will give you a tip. If your mind always think positive, then it will be more difficult for the body to get sick. So let's think positive and don't allow doctors to take our money. Save money, it is important. Do you have question or comments for us? Good job guys, I really like your topic and your topic I find um, three qualities qualities like flexible, humility and patient. When you have these qualities you can do everything you want. Sometimes you you can say I wanna build a big house but not only think you you're gonna build a big house you have to leave uh, small things as perfect you can bring him and you can have a house in the future. I think it's a good job, guys. I really learned the Thank you, Slay. Thank you, Mr. Slay. Thank you, Sylvia and Evers, for letting us know the importance of being positive every day of our life.